How are you doing, Aquarius? So this would just be a regular love tarot card reading. So I got cold summer, change of mind, sorry, and then I have receipt, but it's reversed. So I feel like some of you guys, Aquarius, somebody may have ghosted you, whether this was this summer or last summer. It don't even matter what what year it was but i just feel like somebody left you out in the cold and they may have ghosted you and now whoever this is they could be wanting to come back towards you somebody had a change of mind aquarius when it comes to you and they could be wanting to apologize for something that they have said or something that they have done but some of y'all could be wanting this person to put in the effort if they want to stay Okay, we got the Three of Pentacles reversed. Some of y'all, this person may have, um, some of y'all, this person may have caused you to lose your job. Not everybody, but I am seeing that whoever it is that ghosted you, that wants to come back, this person left somebody else with this three of pentacles reversed some of y'all this is somebody that may have dealt with somebody you work with maybe you met this person through like a work a work setting or like a um a business setting y'all take what applies this is for some of y'all but somebody did leave somebody want to come back to you and um Some of y'all, this person may have recently lost their job also. That's another reason why they want to come back to you with this Three of Pentacles reverse. They may have lost their job, Aquarius. And um, they have been thinking about you. They definitely have been thinking about you. We got the Hangman reverse. I feel like they have been thinking about you. And um, it's like they got a different outlook on on you like they look at you a certain way but I, I don't get in this I'm not getting no good energy it could be but we're gonna see but like I said some of y'all's person lost their job I am clearly seeing that or they just lost their resources or whoever it is that they was collecting from if they didn't have a job I feel like they lost a person or they lost a job y'all take what applies but I am seeing that they um they're ready to let something go and apologize to you your person actually wants to give to you in this relationship, Aquarius. But like I said, most of y'all need this person to, you need the person to prove themselves. We got receipts reversed. You need them to put in the effort into, you know, maybe you need, a, first of all, you need an apology. Second of all, you need this person to work for you now. I'm here to work to get you back. Clear intuitive messages, please. Oh, that one come out. Four of Pentacles, yeah. Because I feel like you, if they're not putting in the effort into, you know, keeping you around, I feel like you're going to let this person go. You're going to let this person go. Because some of y'all feel like if you let this person come back, you just feel like you would not be able to trust them. You know, you, some of y'all feel... I'm hearing some of y'all feel unsafe around this person. Maybe this person made you feel very insecure. But I am clearly seeing that if they left somebody Aquarius, you need this person to prove themselves that they left that other person. That's what I'm strongly getting. Not only that they left the other person, but you also need to you also need this person to prove themselves into actually putting in the effort into getting you back. I'm seeing two two different reasons. Clear intuitive messages. For my beautiful Aquarius. Yeah. Somebody that ghosted you um left the other person. But I am clearly seeing Aquarius that this person don't want nothing from you because we got the three of pentacles reversed. And then we got the King of Pentacles. And then we got the Four of Pentacles reversed. If this person come back, even though they did, may have lost somebody or lost their job, Aquarius, I feel like 
they, like I said, they want to actually do give to you with this King of Pentacles. They want to apologize. They want to put in that effort. They want to, they want to hold accountability. But like I said, physically, you need to see something that's going to make you feel safe and secure in this relationship, you know, and taking this person back. That's what I'm really getting. Like, you need something tangible. You need proof that, you know, this person means business. This person is serious about getting back together with you because some of y'all, this person made you feel very insecure in y'all, you know, when you was around them in y'all last relationship or when you was just around them. Y'all take with applause. But you just need physical proof that this person is going, is somebody you can trust. Put it like that. You see what I'm saying? Clear intuitive messages, please. For my beautiful Aquarius. Yeah, I'm clearly seeing that some of y'all, this person did lose their job, but at the same time, they still want to be accountable for what they have done. Um, you know, and do and do what's right for in order for you to be safe, to feel safe and secure in this relationship. Break up. Yeah, you need to I knew it. You want proof also that this person did break up with the other person. Because we got breakup right here. You need proof that they, you know, broke up with the other person. Some of y'all, I'm getting this energy where this person did come back and you did break up with them. But now this could be the second or third time they come back. This is for some of y'all. Clear, intuitive messages. Yeah. Got single reverse. Clear, intuitive some of y'all, this person is probably still in a relationship. That's probably why you you need proof. So you you see what I'm saying? Rebound reversed. But like I said, it's I'm seeing two different stories for two different groups. I'm seeing that some of y'all, this person did lose their job and they did um lose the person and they could be coming back in to make it right with you. Now the rest of y'all. This person, um, it's either that they lost their job and the person or one or the other, and they could be coming in to, um, to use you. Y'all take with a plot, because I'm seeing two different side storylines for different people. But like I said, y'all want this person to prove themselves that they lost, that they not in a committed relationship, because you need to be able to trust them. I am mean, seeing that in order for you to open up to this person, Aquarius, again, I feel like you just need to be able to trust them. You want to feel safe and secure in this relationship. And most of y'all feel like it's just not safe to, um, you know, go back into this situation with somebody where they haven't even proved themselves. You know what I'm saying? They haven't even made an effort into keeping you. Because some of y'all, like I said, I am trying to get into this back and forth energy. Some of y'all have been back and forth with this person. We got bored. Look, I knew it was some bullshit. We're going to see. Clear into a message of Clarity's Collective. Some of y'all's person could just be telling you that they broke up with the other person, but I feel like they still in that relationship because we got single reverse right next to it. They just probably could be trying to collect from you financially. Some of y'all, this person could be wanting to collect from you financially. Maybe they, um, like I said, maybe the person that they in a relationship with, um, maybe they just recently lost their job. Maybe your person didn't lose their job. Maybe they're trying to leech off of you once again. The lovers. Yeah, some of y'all could be, this person could be telling you that they broke up with the person and that they love you and they want to get back together with you. You know, some of y'all could be actually making love with this person. Yeah, but I am seeing that they could be saying that they broke up with somebody that they, um, because they love you. They want to get back together with you. But somebody is being codependent on somebody, whether that's financially or they still could just be hanging on to that other person. We've got the nine of wands. Yeah, I told you. This person just wants some support. We got the nine of wands. It means support, boundary, strength, strength. Yeah, this person just wants some form of support. Some of y'all's person is this is the type of person that place a lot of demands. But like I said, this is somebody who just wants some form of support. 
Some of y'all, it's probably not even financial support. Some of y'all, it could just be that they want support because they just got done, got out of a relationship. But I'm not really getting that. I feel like the support is financial. And you could be rejecting this person because we got rebound reverse right here. You ain't having that. Aquarius, y'all ain't having that shit at all. Y'all is not playing. <laughs> Clear, intuitive messages. That's too many cards. Yeah, y'all rejecting this person. Y'all re they telling you a goddamn lie. Eight of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, you making this person put that extra work in. Like, you're not playing at all. You need physical proof that this person wants to get back together with you and that you can trust them. Receipts reverse. They're not doing it. They're not physically proving themselves to you enough for you to stay and for you to feel safe into being with them and being in another relationship with them. You see what I'm saying? I feel like you guys are setting strong boundaries with this person. Some of y'all feel like this person is just too needy or you feel like this person is just very codependent to you, to your money. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, that's all they want. You, you rejecting this person. You're not giving this person a goddamn dollar. You making this person put in that extra work and to proving themselves to you. Because you're tired of this person. We got bored right here. You're tired of this person's bullshit. That's exactly what I'm getting. Clear intuitive messages, please. For Six of Swords reverse. Your person, they don't want you to go. They don't want you to move on from them. But you like your peace. You... You want to move past all the bullshit that this person has put you through. You don't want to go through a repetitive cycle with this person. Your person just don't know how to, like, shake you off, to be honest. They don't want you to go. Look, some of y'all's person is just giving you mixed signals about, you know, we got the Eight of Cups, about how they feel about you. You're not, you see what I'm saying? And you just don't trust them enough to get, to keep this person in your life. Some of y'all, like I said, this person got options. So you know this person got options. You know this person just trying to come in and, and use you. That's why you're trying to make them work extra hard to get you back. But since you see they're not putting in that effort, they're not putting in that work, you are setting strong boundaries. You are, you're not taking this person back. Most of y'all that I'm talking to are not taking this person back. I feel like if it has been a shift in your energy, you changed, Aquarius. Ever since you've been separated from this person, Aquarius, you have definitely changed. And I just feel like some of y'all are dealing with somebody who is also wishy-washy, you know, and you know that they are flighty like this. You know their energy is all over the place and you don't take this person serious. And that's the reason why you're setting strong boundaries with this person and rejecting them because you're not about to, you know what I'm saying? You you haven't seen no results. You, you haven't seen this person actually put in that effort. You're just tired of that bullshit, like literally. You, you tired of this person, Aquarius. But I'm going to go ahead and end it right here. I hope it resonates with you guys. Don't forget to like, comment down below, and subscribe. And y'all be blessed.